Okay, so the coach has been ripped apart and ready for build, so this is a before shot. And now we're planning for the cabinetry, so which has been wonderfully donated by GCW Kitchens. So I think we are going to have cupboards all along this back wall with a countertop and then closed cupboards down here, open cupboards there so we can see and look at the beads and be able to access everything really easy. Then in this center piece here, um, I think I'd like to see a nine foot table uh, where the women can work around and uh, hopefully have lighting spots on here. darker here even though we have those two windows in that it still gives a bit of light and then on this back wall I think we're just going to have open shelves because each woman will have a container that they can put all their beads in and they'll be able to store them right here everything will be clean and tidy at the end of the day upstairs we'll have a sewing machine and uh, a welding gun so we can do some welding with the uh, um, metal so we can uh, work on some pieces up there and that will be a quiet space if somebody wants to create up there. On the front area when you enter the front door we will have our cabinet for display so if people want to see what the women are making that will happen. We want to keep everything on a country look so we have a pine floor being delivered um, and put in. It'd be nice to have some old area carpets on the floor just to make it comfortable. And I think that um, we will find some old wrought iron beds and hang them from the ceiling so we can hang some jewelry off of that or, or put something like that on the wall. So uh, we've got some wall space over here that we can do that with. And maybe we'll leave some wall space back there to show off our wares as well. So it's so exciting and we're so ready for this to happen and we hope to be in here in a couple of months.